everybody welcome back to uniquely yours crochet podcast vlogmas 2020 today is day 13 slash 14 no yes yes um so yeah i have my first live saturday night thank you to everyone who caught me live and for those of you who caught the replay that was fun it was different i definitely want to do it again it was cool being able to you know chat with you guys um as you guys were commenting so um thank you for indulging me that was cool got to get some hooking done i finished that round um i was working on that that shell round of the vest and i'm actually thinking about ending it here because it's really really pretty you guys um one, because I know I'm not going to have enough yarn to finish the rest, the other two yarn uh, rounds. But I think it looks, oh, let's see. I think it looks pretty as is, just with the, um, I don't know. I don't know. So, I may, I may order another ball of this. I don't know I may I think it's pretty I don't know we shall see <laughs> I just like I was saying that the more and more you go around and around the longer it takes you because it gets to be so wide and I made this one kind of plus size and so I added a few more rounds um, as is so it's already fairly big um, working on and that that's why you have to slow down i'm working on of course the sweater coat moved on to the sweater coat and um, the first sweater coat and yesterday i thought i was jamming got the back panel done uh friday night started working on the front panels and sewed it together was getting ready to get them sleeves and so i picked it up just to make sure everything was everything it wasn't one panel was longer than the other one panel was longer than the back panel so i took down i frogged one panel and redid it um yesterday and now i'm in the middle of frogging the other one and redoing it um and actually uh paying attention because i clearly wasn't i was on the phone i talked uh, yesterday to um my best friends and between that and my nephew was here running around and all that good stuff and so yeah got to be more careful <laughs> so i'll be paying attention i got some more yarn today in and i think the last bit of the yarn for the sweater coats will be here tomorrow so my plan is to work tonight um diligently to get um, at least most of the first sweater coat completed. Hopefully, um, this next panel, sew them together, do the arms. Even if I can't do the collar, um, I'm going to try. So, um, I'm on a mission. In my head, I'm thinking I can get these done by the end of the week or at least by Monday. So, I'm hoping because then I want to spend um the next three days working on my gift <laughs> it's bad anyway i am sporting an old hat that i made out of karen pantone um karen and pantone or karen x pantone or however you said that um it's kind of a slouchy kind of not you know with karen pantone you don't um end up with what you thought you would it's it worked from the bottom up it had the brim and it had it was like an eclair. I saved the tutorial in my watch later in my other channel, which is, I have probably 300 videos saved to my watch list. So if I can find it, I will link it because it was fun. It's different. It's a bunch of different stitches. Um, I switched colors row by row with the Karen pants on. However, if you had a variegated yarn and did this, it would be super pretty as well because it would probably self stripe. Um, so yeah, my hair was looking a little old and blessed. I need to wash it. My wash and go has gone as far as it can go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so 
the whole um vlogging every day like it was it it is fun i'm gonna say it is fun but those moments where you can't you feel bad like yesterday went to the light fest in um wayne county which is um the largest county in our state they have put on a light show every year from like november to january 1st i think um and it has like christmas well holiday lights it, it encompasses um you know several different holidays but anyway we took my nephew um because it gets dark so early and it opened at six so we literally jumped up and was like let's go yesterday um and so he um i'll post a few pictures that my sister took because i was driving so i didn't catch any um shots but she caught some good ones and a couple ones of us um enjoying the lights my nephew he he gets a hold of that tablet in the car so he was looking up and looking at the lights and going ooh and i and look, looking directly back down and playing with this tablet but it was cool and then he passed out you know on the way home but um he said he had fun and he wanted to go again but granny and pop pop had to come too so there's another one north of us um, that's going on. It costs a little more money. This one was only $5 per car, and it was cool. Um, you drive, a, it's probably like a four and a half, five mile stretch, and there's um, lights. It was really, really pretty. So I'll post some um, either in the beginning or the end of this, maybe at the end since I'm talking about it now. That would make more sense. So... Um, hopefully I can pull those from my sister, um, while I'm editing. So yeah, we did that yesterday and then I thought about vlogging and then my phone started ringing and, um, was talking to my, um, best friend in Atlanta, then my other best friend here. Um, I have a lot of best friends cause I'm popular now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, just because I love people. And apparently there are some people who love me too. So my other best friend called and we hadn't chatted in a while. So it was late in the midnight hour. By the time I got off the phone, I looked up, I was like, well, and then I realized I messed up. And so I started frogging and I said, well, I'll film today. And I thought I would be able to film in the morning while my nephew was still sleeping, but work was, um, busy which i was glad because i was able to knock out a lot before he woke up because he got up really early and then he lay back down and he slept till almost noon which was cool um yeah with daycares not being open you know <laughs> it's it's rough it really really is but i am grateful that we can keep him you know safe as well as all of us um so you know but um so yeah, so my plans are to hook and catch up on Vlogmas videos for today. Um, I want to do another live. I don't know when, maybe sometime later this week. However, I would like to do a crochet long. So get your um, size uh, six um, super bulky or two, um, two or three strands of four weight yarn held together if you want to crochet with me on my sweater coat um because i'm sure i'll be working on one of them um while we're chatting live hopefully by the end of this week i will be um into my second or third one um hopefully prayerfully uh, i'm still getting orders i post i was so reluctant to post a picture yesterday um of one of my customers in a dress she had sent it to me on thanksgiving like i'm finally wearing it because she had bought it um ages ago and then the world shut down and the place she had planned to wear it of course she didn't get to go and so she was like i wore it for thanksgiving i didn't care i was wearing my dress and she looks so pretty so i posted it and of course i got an order for it and i but i told them i said i'm booked well into january so i will definitely take your order however um you know so that's cool because I had fun making that dress, so I'll have fun um, making it again, but it might not be till February. Um, and she picked black, white, and red, so it'll be cute. It was like jewel tones um, that I made it out of. Um, I'll post the picture of my customer in it um, if you don't follow me on social media. 
my socials are down below and I try to post customer spotlights and people in my items um, whenever they send me shots. I try to wait for them to send me shots instead of um, like, cause it look, garments look better on than they do on the hanger. But if it's people that I know aren't going to be comfortable sending me shots, I'll just snap a shot, you know, for my own personal um, stash of finished works but I love to see the people you know in them because it just does something you know and then it has their personality and things like that so anyway um it was a granny stitch um pattern granny stitch dress that was worked on um, raglan um from the top down and it had bell bottom sleeves oh it was gorgeous super gorgeous so I'll show you guys that and um yeah, now we're at 10 minutes, so I'm going to cut this off. Um, guys, I really appreciate you for hanging out with me, rocking with me. Um, <clears throat> there was a couple videos ago, somebody posted like, wow, it's the music so loud. It was because there was music playing. Alexa was playing some, um, some Kirk Franklin Christmas, and of course my video picked it up and I didn't want to get flagged so I raised the sound of the YouTube approved music over that music so it was kind of loud that day but I will try to control I like the idea of having the little music in the background in the beginning and the end or whatever I'm playing around I'm learning um I was watching hook hook crochet and she was just saying how YouTube is a learning cu uh, curve like as you go you know things get better you try things they work they don't I've been trying the 3D effects and the snow and the different things the lights or whatever so I'm having fun this is giving me the opportunity with every day trying to you know put some flavor on it put some spin on it so having fun um I hope you guys are enjoying um vlogmas everybody's um videos um some podcasters that I've been watching. I have been catching Hook Cook Crochet. Um, DOI is doing DOI Ember. I've been uh, catching her videos. I've been catching um, Kim the Crafty Nomad. I've been ca catching um, Rel from the Dabble and Hook. I've been catching Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet. I've been um, catching um, Crochet Cakes. Oh, is it Crochet Cakes? I think so. I might be saying it wrong. Dang it. And I've been watching her since forever. Um, I've been catching her vlog, man. She's been doing it like every few days. Of course, Z has been um, vlogging and she's been vlogging every few days, which I think is not bad to do like a combined two, sh two slash three, four slash five. So there's a lot of people I am watching. Um, what? Um, uh, I can't think. Um, Lily, um, I've been catching her. Yeah, I've been catching a lot of them. Some, some I can I watch on the TV, and so I try to pick up my phone and hurry up and comment before I um, forget. Um, as I'm watching, because if I'm hooking and watching on the TV, I just let it play. I just go to the next video, go to the next video. But I am watching, having a ball, supporting everybody who's doing Vlogmas and those who are doing their regular um, scheduled videos and things of that nature. So I will be back. Um, I think my last Vlogmas will be Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Um, and then I will... Um, in the new year, I'll probably do, um, my regular podcast. So, um, we shall see. Um, we're thinking about doing a seafood boil for Christmas instead of like regular Christmas food. And either I'm going to make it or, um, my friend's mom is catering for this. Her business is catering for the holidays. So I might just order us bags and go pick them up and then just cook Christmas breakfast. Last year I did French toast. Um, it was really good. So I might do that um, this year as well. All right, guys. So happy Monday. Hopefully you'll see me tomorrow, if not Wednesday. But hopefully tomorrow we have another big day at work um, with a, a meeting. And I'll be um, running the Zoom and putting people in breakout rooms and taking notes and doing 50, 11 things at the same time. Um, so that should be fun. But once it's over, then I think things are going to, whoo, 
We have the office, virtual office party on Thursday. So I have to meet with my coworker to pick up my um, Christmas gift or holiday gift from the office. And, um, and then after that is Friday. And that's my last day of work for the rest of the year. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Um, and last year it was so different because we had more days off given by the university because of the way that Christmas fell. Um, and they, the way that it closes down until the new year. However, it was super slow. So it what you didn't feel like that anxiousness for a break and with, being added to several different more um, contracts, praise God for um, gainful employment and um, and a, a steady job. Uh, but I definitely um, am using some vacation days. Not a lot, I'm, um, but I'm using it, adding it, optimizing on what they're giving us as the university holiday and then adding some vacation days. And so that will also help with the crocheting I need to do leading up until Christmas. And then my sister's birthday is coming up and I wanna make her something. Um, I always try to make her something every year for her birthday cause she's my original supporter and model and everything else. And I'm babbling. So I am going to log off seriously this time for real, for real. Um, love you guys for hanging in there with me as I um, learn and grow. Look forward to another live so I can chat with more of you all. It was good to talk to you ladies on Saturday night. And um, have a good Monday. Bye.